Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and what its connections to Legends Arceus might be now. I just wrapped literally 20 minutes ago on my final stream of the main story of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and I have a lot of thoughts as to what the future of these games are going to be in conjunction with the upcoming game Legends Arceus that's due out in January. So with that being said, let's jump right into things. Now, if you've not played Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, we are past release, which means, spoiler warning, we are going to be talking about the game in full in all of my videos moving forward. So if you have not played through Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl yet, and you want to remain spoiler free as to some of the things they did not reveal in the trailer, now would be a good time to click off and go watch one of my other videos from the pre-launch where I don't spoil most of that. Now, these games are very, very faithful remakes to Diamond and Pearl. There are a couple new things sprinkled in, such as the Grand Underground. There are a couple changes to teams and TMs. There's the introduction of the fairy type, but it is the same story. It is the same narrative beats, and it is largely the same gameplay as the originals. Romanus Park is a brand new addition alongside the Grand Underground, but everything else in the Sinnoh region is roughly the same, besides maybe some changes to super contests. They're like very different contests now. They're a lot shorter. What does this mean for Legends Arceus? Well, the biggest piece of evidence that we have in connection to Legends Arceus are the events that are programmed into Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now, just like in the originals, there's a Darkrai event, there's a Shaman event, there's an Arceus event, along with a bunch of other various legendaries and other Pokemon that you can catch throughout the story of the game. These are inaccessible. You cannot get to them from normal gameplay. In order to get Darkrai, you need to travel to his island and you need all of the event items that come with that. In order to get Shaman, you need to get access to the land bridge that takes you to where Shaman lives. That involves Professor Oak, and it's a whole thing. Again, you need a mystery gift. Now let's go to Arceus. Arceus is programmed into this game. The Hall of Origin exists in the files of this game, but it is very bare bones and it is not all put together. There exists a way for Arceus to exist in this game, but in the code right now, there is no way for Arceus to communicate with this game, if that makes any sense. We also saw in these games that you were able to receive special gift Pokemon in Floraroma Town. If you went with data of Mew and Jirachi, I'm sorry, if you went in with save data of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, or Sword and Shield, or both, you got Mew and Jirachi added to your team, added to your Pokedex. These are special gifts. They were not in the original games. They were not in Platinum, any of that sort. These are brand new. This is what Game Freak and Pokemon Company likes to do with all of their games in the recent years. They like to make some sort of reward or some sort of incentivization for you to own all of the games. So if you own one of the Let's Go games, you own one of the Sword and Shield games. If you also own BDSP, one of the two, you're going to get rewarded. That has led a lot of theorists, including myself, to believe that Arceus is going to be obtainable in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. For the first time ever, there will be an Arceus event that is not a specific Pokemon Arceus given away via Mystery Gift accessible in the Sinnoh region. And it is going to be through Legends Arceus. I believe that when you connect Legends Arceus to your Nintendo Switch in January at the end of the month, and you go back into your copy of Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl, you're going to be able to unlock the event at the top of Spear Pillar. You're going to be able to play the Azure Flute. You're going to be able to climb up to the Hall of Origin, and you're going to be able to encounter God, the creator of the Pokemon universe, and finally face him the way it was always intended. Now, before going any further, I just want to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching this video aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free. You can unsubscribe at any time. And if you really want to show your support and show me that you're enjoying these Pokemon Legends Arceus videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to leave a like. And if you hit that subscribe button, be sure to turn the post notification bell on as well so you never miss another upload. Now, why am I so confident with this? Well, the first reason I'm so confident is because there's programmable information in these games for all of these Pokemon. There's clear and obvious ways to get most of them. They just have to do a mystery gift event. There's even been some people who have already found walkthrough wall cheats letting you get to some of these mythical Pokemon and encounter them without needing an event or any hack whatsoever. 
So these Pokemon exist and these Pokemon were meant to be accessible, but it just appears based on the code that Arceus is behind some extra firewalls. We also know that Pokemon loves to bring communication with their games. And generally speaking, they like to bring communication forwards with their games. So when Le when Sword and Shield came out, there was an you were able to unlock special Gigantamax Pokemon if you connected Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Subsequently, in Diamond and Pearl, the remakes, if you connect these two prior games, Let's Go and Sword and Shield, you get data. So wouldn't the general standard thinking be that, oh, okay, in Legends Arceus, if you connect Sword and Shield, if you connect Let's Go, or if you connect BDSP, you're going to get special rewards within Legends Arceus. I think that's probably true, and I think it's something that they're definitely going to do. But I also think BDSP is coming out so close to Legends Arceus' release date that they're going to keep these two games consistent with one another. These are the two most recent Pokemon games. I think and they've shown us this from Reveal, they're treating them as a trio. These three games go together. So I think events are going to work back to back. I think there's going to be events for Legends Arceus in BDSP, and I think there's going to be events for BDSP in Legends Arceus. If we ever get DLC for Legends Arceus or for BDSP, I think those will also communicate. Let's also look at Pokemon Home. They are keeping the Pokemon Home release until next year. Next year, right as the beginning of the year comes in, we're getting Legends Arceus. All of this is telling me that the Pokemon company is looking to keep these two games, these three games, intertwined. It doesn't make any sense for them to move on from Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl once Legends Arceus comes out if this is the way that they have been operating and the way that they've been thinking this entire time. It would deviate from their original plan for this trio of games, and the Pokemon Company plans things out very methodically. I don't think they're going to do that. They've even kept Sword and Shield relevant. Competitive exists only on Sword and Shield. The competitive scene is not moving to Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It's staying on those Generation 8 titles with the most Pokemon in them. So ultimately, they want to keep this ecosystem alive and thriving on Switch as long as possible with the biggest variety of games possible. This feels like an active decision by Game Freak and by the Pokemon Company in the Switch era. They're trying to keep every single game possible alive as a property. Usually in past games, they move on. Once the new game comes out, they largely abandon the old one. When Oras came out, full focus went on to Oras. X and Y was basically dropped. I don't think they're doing that here. And I think that reason is why we're going to see Legends Arceus connect with BDSP and we're going to get an Arceus event. But what about BDSP connecting to Legends Arceus? Well, it's interesting. I think there's going to be a lot of lore beats that are explored in Legends Arceus that really flesh out some of the things we see in the original Diamond and Pearl story. For example, a lot of the ancestor characters in Legends Arceus, after playing BDSP and seeing how faithful they are, I think they're going to take a lot of risks and liberties with these ancient ancestral versions of some of these Sinnoh characters. I think we're going to get some very strong references to who they eventually become. Whether it's predictions or whether it's something to do with time travel, I definitely think the Arc Phone is now involved in some sort of time travel. I think they have laid the seeds perfectly for a fully communicative relationship between BDSP and Legends Arceus. With that being said, I would love to know what you guys think. Do you think we're going to see connections between Legends Arceus and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Or do you think they're going to drop BDSP once Legend comes out their new shiny toy in January? I would love to know what you guys think. And if you enjoyed this video, I would also appreciate a like. It does a ton to show me that you're enjoying these videos and that you want to see more. We are getting very, 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 very close to 9,000 subscribers. We might have already hit it by the time this video came out. And if we have, I just want to thank you guys so much. We're so, so close to my goal at the end of the year, which was to reach 10,000. We're, we're getting there very quickly and it's it's... It's incredible to see, and I hope you're excited to get back to discussion videos on this channel. So of course, if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button, be sure to leave a comment, let me know what you think about this connectivity discussion. I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.